I'm standing in front of what used to be Leon's house. This isn't the house. They tore the house that he lived in uh, down in 1987. This property here is like roughly a two acre property. It was an old Georgian mansion that was built in the 20s and Leon moved into it uh, roughly 72, lived there till about 77. And uh, I had a paper out in this neighborhood and uh, Leon was one of my customers. So Leon moved in this neighborhood uh, in 72 and this he was fresh off of of playing at the concert for Bangladesh. He just was tapped into the mainstream of, of the big dogs of, of music. I mean, George Harrison, Bob Dylan, Eric Clapton. I mean, he was the band leader. He was really at the peak of his, of his uh, popularity. I mean, he'd been around, been a studio musician and everything forever, but he was starting to put out his own songs. He was a local boy. He was born in Lawton, or went to Will Rogers High School, and he was playing clubs when he was probably 14 years old or something. It was the McClintock home when Leon, as a young man in the late 50s, played uh, a party on this spot. Uh, the story is, is uh, which I've got from Tommy Crook, who's a, one of the legendary guitar players in this, in this t from here, who played in, in, in Leon's band, Russell Bridges and the Starlighters. Russell Bridges, of course, was Leon's given name. And the, the story that Tommy Crook told me is like they, they came here to play a party when it was the McClintock home, late 50s. And they rolled up in their big old, uh, they had an old hearse, like an old you know, limo. And uh, they've got in big old white letters on the, on, on the side of the car, you know, Russell Bridges and the Starlighters. And so they're coming to play the party and they just pull right up to the front door. And, uh, you know, like, like they own the place. Like, you know, where we set our stuff up, you know, the owner comes out, man, he, he or she is, is, is just hot. Like, what are you band people, you know, doing? You guys go around the back, and it really ticked off Leon. And Leon said aloud to Tommy and the rest of his band, he said, man, I'm gonna come back and buy this place when I get big. And he, I mean, that's a huge promise, but I mean, he made good on it. <laughs> 